it has gotten it's gotten worse like drastically in the last 150 years in America and then it's it's been exponential and so most churches uh don't have as many men in it as women they're not at a basic parity you yeah. know so you, you'll have 60 percent to greater uh female um uh, membership and so it's just going to be it literally is more female so churches mm -hmm. are going to be more female and it's fine for there to be femininity in church design and congregation and all that but it's it's a shared space right it's a it's men and women are there and i made this point online it was funny people got really offended but i was just like <laughs> saying that guys i shouldn't be comfortable in a women's lingerie like they're like, oh, so you're that shallow. Like, well, I'll go there and buy something for my wife. I don't have a problem, but I'm not going to hang out there. Not like a woman would, right? Yeah. I'm going to like make a beeline, get in. It's, 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 you know, ladies are there searching for their unmentionables, so to speak. And last thing they want a guy, they're like kind of staring at them as they do that or whatever. Yeah. It's just, um, you know, I don't, and I don't know, man, no normal dude wants to hang out like around uh tampons and pads and stuff like that and they're like they don't even like saying those words right yeah Let alone we shouldn't anyway will we, yeah, will we do it to, if our wife needs this absolutely whatever yeah. um but i think um i think that's fine those are feminine spaces let them have their spaces they should the church there's not a feminine space mm -hmm. it's 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 for everybody right it's for men women old young children adults so to speak and um, and the problem is the churches, because they're dominated by women, tend to be designed, decorated by women. The music tends to cater to the women. Uh, the sermons tend to cater to the women. So more and more uh, guys go there and they feel like, ah, this is this might serve some purpose for ladies, but it's, I don't belong here. So I think that's why you don't have very many masculine men there because yeah. it's passive, because it feels kind of gay. Um, and if it's not, not feeling directly homoerotic, it's feeling very feminine. And so guys are like, you know, I know I should care, uh, uh, but I'm not going to go. And the guys that get really into it, um, you know, the guys that hang around are guys that are willing to identify a little bit more with the feminine. Uh, and so, hmm. so I think that's how you get there. I don't think it has to be uh, nefarious necessarily. Yeah. It's problematic, and we have to do something about it because the world needs men. The world needs godly men. We need men for elders. We need them for deacons. We need them for fathers. Um, we want uh, our daughters to marry godly, strong men. And uh, so, yeah. But effemacy, to a point you made, effemacy and machoism, really same deal. Just two, mm -hmm. two sides of the same coin, which are guys that don't know how to be a man. So one doesn't know how to be a man, so he takes on the attributes of a woman. So femininity is uh, beautiful on a woman, repulsive on a man. Right. It's just for the example I'll give people is a woman will sway her hips when she moves. And that's because one of the ways, you know, uh, from skeletons, whether it's a female or male skeleton is uh, the, the, the way their hips are shaped. Right. Mm -hmm. So women, her hips are shaped differently in part to have children. Mm -hmm. And then when she's on the up, uh, up cycle, um, when she's uh, moving towards ovulation, actually, uh, it'll it'll soften ligaments and she'll sway more right hmm. guys don't do that because we we literally aren't built the same way so when you see a homosexual man or a feminine man sway his hips like a woman it's going against nature it's kind of like Ugh, you know like what's, yeah. what's going on with that it's kind of gross right yeah. um so uh, a swaying of hips is pretty feminine and it looks like it's normal on a woman uh on a guy you're like Ooh, that's not normal and so that's how you can understand a femacy it's not a, a pejorative uh towards femininity it's actually honoring femininity and say that's that's not the proper use for that, right? And um, now machoism is is uh, still guys that don't know how to be a man, and they don't they don't have uh, strength under control. They're not gentle, they're not meek. Um, they really are controlled by how they want to be perceived by others. There's a lot of fear of man there, and they're really controlled by their emotions. And they're, those sort of guys are easy to manipulate. Those guys are, um, and they're really weak, right? They, they don't do things from a place of confidence, but it's very performative on both sides. Mm. And so it's kind of the same thing, really. And you'll see this with people that don't have dads because they didn't have like a real example that they grew up with to know, you know, part of my job as a dad is when my kids are acting up, I don't, I don't act up. 
You know, if they raise their voice to me, you know, I don't raise my voice to them. It's yeah. scarier when, when you're like, oh, I don't have to do that, dad. And you're like, oh, you do have to do that, son. You will, right? When you're like, when you're calm, when you like scream, then you're not in control. The kids know that, whatever. They can play yeah. a number, but it's like when you, you're trying to be all angry. So macho guys think everything's through power, right? And, and it isn't, it isn't. You can't, you know, you, you try to force a woman to submit and you better check your food for poison. I mean, like, how's that going to work? Uh, that's not how uh, it works. Submission, you know, requires mission, it requires a drive, a focus. A lot of women actually do want to submit to men. Oh, they'll say, but in Genesis, it says her desire will be to rule over you. Yes, yes, just like thorns and thistles. Mm -hmm. And and thorns and thistles don't totally rule over mankind. You don't it doesn't look post apocalyptic everywhere you look. Okay, you can cultivate a garden, and and Adam was able to cultivate the soil. And just because there is a temptation or a difficulty attached to male female relationships, doesn't mean that she's like in a constant state of rebellion in all ways. Mm -hmm. And just as the Holy Spirit gives you strength to fight against the curse, so it gives her strength too. And so this idea that uh, women don't want to follow men, I don't buy it. I think they do. I think it's, it's all relationships are with their bumps because of sin and because of the curse. But I think guys that are strong and driven and controlled uh, usually don't have many problems with the ladies, not like seismic problems anyhow.